Happy Monday, you guys. This weekend, whew, we did some shopping, stocking up our refrigerator, pantry, freezer. So this week, I have three different grocery hauls to share with you guys. If I put them all together, it would be way too long. But if you guys watched my previous video, we were gearing up for this spent the last several weeks just really trying to go through what we have and eating out of what we've got. But now it was time for just a big stock up. We got a whole bunch of different things. Today I'm sharing with you guys what I picked up from Trader Joe's. So with Trader Joe's, if you guys have seen any of my previous hauls, I definitely treat it as more of a specialty store. I don't make a list, I go in, pick up things that I know that we like. If I see new things that we wanna try, my husband Mark came with me this time, so we had a good time going through the stores and bringing some stuff home as some new stuff as well as some of our favorites. But I also am collabing on this video with Brittany. I'll have her channel linked in the description box. I love Brittany. I really want to meet her in person. I feel like she is just so down to earth and very real in her videos. She doesn't sugarcoat things or anything like that. She just shares her life as it is a lot of grocery hauls. She does a few vlogs. She also has a separate channel. I don't, I think she just has the two channels. It's very focused on her weight loss, which she has been doing fantastic on. She is looking great. She did look great before, but she's just doing a great job. And I've loved following along with her journey. So definitely check her video out and see what groceries she picked up. But let me go ahead and take you guys to the counter. I am going to be popping up prices. I like to do that so you can see what everything costs individually. The total was about $244. So I did finally pick up a reusable bag. Um, whenever I go to Trader Joe's, I try to remember about half the time I take in my reusable bags and the other half I use theirs. But I did go ahead and pick one up from there. I realized I didn't have an actual Trader Joe's one. So I picked one up to add to my reusable bag collection. Let me just set that out of the way over there. Okay, but as far as food, and drinks, couple drinks. This is everything that I picked up. The only non-food item, I got some flowers. I like to get my flowers at Trader Joe's. I think they do a wonderful job at putting the bouquets together and their prices aren't horrible either when it comes to flowers. If you guys have watched any of my past Trader Joe's hauls, you know I kind of use Trader Joe's as like a specialty store. I don't really make a list. When I go in, I pick up what Trader Joe's tells me to take home. <laughs> and we have our favorites. Um, if I see something new, I like to try some new stuff. And then if there is something that I know, like produce wise, um, I will pick it up. But I am going to Sam's Club as well. So a lot of produce that I'm gonna be getting is going to be from there. So with that being said, let's start. I picked this tomato basil marinara sauce up the last time I went and we really enjoyed it. So I got that again. And I also went ahead and picked up some Alfredo sauce. So I have seen where if you mix the two, they taste really good together. So I think we're gonna try that with dinner. I think we're gonna have it tonight. I'm filming on a Friday. You guys should be seeing this Monday morning. So I think Friday night, we're gonna have some ravioli, which I also picked up, I'll show you guys. And then I'm gonna mix these two together and use that as a sauce. My daughter Pearl really likes seaweed and she actually doesn't snack on it. She puts it in her ramen when she cooks her ramen noodle packages. So I picked this up, although when I was pulling it out of the bag and showing it to her, I was like, oh, I had I did not even look at it and it's flavored. So it's roasted teriyaki, which she's like, oh, I like teriyaki. I was like, okay, good. I hope that's not gonna mess up your ramen. But I think sometimes she likes to snack on this too. So I did go ahead and pick this up for her. There's six little individual packages in there. So that will last her quite a bit. Okay, I got some pizza sauce. We have a bit of shredded mozzarella cheese in our refrigerator. So I was like, oh, I know a way to use that up. It's been in there for a little while. So we're gonna make some pizzas one night for dinner, so I went ahead and picked that up. That way we already have that on hand. All right, so the last time I went, I got the soba noodle uh, saute kit, and I was trying to remember exactly what the rice one was that I love. This one is the one that I was talking about, and my absolute favorite. So it's miso vegetables and brown rice saute kit. It is so good. Pearl and I will probably split this one day for lunch, but it's got brown rice, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, red cabbage, kale, carrots, snow peas, and then a miso sauce. And like I said, it's a saute kit. So you just throw it all in your pan, saute it up, add the sauce, and it is super delicious. So I can't wait to have that for lunch one day. 
These are really yummy. I pick this up almost every time we go. The garlic and cheese breadsticks. We're actually gonna have that with our dinner tonight with our ravioli. Another lunch option I picked up for myself this coming week is the mozzarella and tomato salad with a balsamic vinaigrette. I have picked this up before. It's really tasty. I think I'm going to film some dinners. Since I'm buying so many groceries, I thought you guys might enjoy seeing what like we're using the groceries for. So I've got some breakfast recipes and some dinner recipes. One of them um, has, I'm gonna be using the vegetable fried rice, but I'm doing something else with them, adding some other stuff to it. So I picked up two packages of the vegetable fried rice, just a little bit of a convenience factor at dinner time, so I'm not like home making a whole bunch of different things. This stuff is really, really good. I did pick up a few different like appetizer type stuff the kids really enjoy when they have friends over. If I do like an appetizer board for them, whether it's lunch or dinner time. So I did get a couple things with that in mind. One of them are these little itty bitty mini pizzas. They're super small. Like I feel like that is a good representation of how big they are. And the kids really like them. It's just cheese though. It's like just cheese and a little bit of sauce. Like I said, the kids like those. And then I also picked up these mini beef tacos. They do have these in chicken as well, if you prefer chicken, but we've gotten these before and they're very tasty. There's actually quite a bit in here. So you get a lot for what you pay. I only need one zucchini. So thanks to every plate, not sponsoring this video, obviously, but I, worked with them for a little while and then I also just order from them you know not being sponsored or anything and one thing that they ha got me turned on to is when I'm making pasta even if I already have like a pre-bought pasta sauce I love to add ground sausage and zucchini into that sauce and it, it just bulks it up one and it just tastes delicious so that's what I do a lot of times now I just add zucchini and ground sausage to a lot of our pasta dishes and that's what I'm going to add to the ravioli so um, they didn't sell the zucchini just a one-off but that's okay I'll make sure we use the rest of them in the next coming weeks but anyway long story for what I got the zucchini for but it's absolutely de delicious if you haven't tried it try it just cut this up into little itty bitty pieces saute it a little bit add it into your pasta sauce and it's really really good okay cornbread mix I have some red beans and rice on the meal plan and that goes really good with cornbread I don't think I've ever picked up the cornbread mix from Trader Joe's I know at Walmart you can get like that cheap little maybe like 98 cents bag and that's originally what I had planned to get but when I saw it at Trader Joe's I was like ah, eh, I've never tried theirs so we'll go ahead and pay a little extra obviously but try theirs out okay so normally I get the peanut butter and cheese crackers um, but the last couple times Pearl's asked if I could look for just the cheese ones and the last couple times I haven't been able to find them but I remembered that Trader Joe's had these mini ones so I was on the hunt for them and found them so she's gonna enjoy these the mini cheese sandwich crackers mark picked up some asparagus um, he Bryce and Pearl are actually having something different for dinner tomorrow night Rose and I I'm gonna have to figure that out <laughs> but you'll see here in a little bit what else he picked up to go with dinner but he really likes asparagus and Pearl does too Pearl's like our non picky like she'll eat or she'll try anything and her palate is very, very wide. Like she likes a lot of stuff, so that's good. But the asparagus is gonna be for them. Got some bananas, always love to have some fresh bananas on hand. And like I said, this is not a lot of produce, but we're gonna be getting our produce from another store. All right, to go with like the appetizer type board, the kids really like mozzarella sticks. So I got this and I like that the size of this, I feel like it's fairly small. So it'll be great to add to a bunch of other stuff, but the breaded mozzarella sticks, we'll add that when we have an appetizer night. I got both flavors of the corn puffs the kids like both of them so we got the white cheddar and the sour cream and onion these are these are really good they like melt in your mouth I enjoy them as well and then we'll go over here real quick I'll just try to remember to go back Mark saw these and how do you say this do you know how to say that cacio pepe oh that's that's not what I would have said cacio pepe puffs so it's a cheese and pepper corn rice snack so he did pick this up for himself he was like that's oh, a small bag that can be just for me I was like yeah you you can try it. I'll try one but I bet he's gonna really enjoy those all right the kids like the turkey corn dogs so I did go ahead and pick these up the batter is semi-sweet it almost tastes like it has a little bit of honey in it so they're really yummy for one of our dinners I'm making some little mini street tacos and I wanted to have some guacamole and pico de gallo to go with it never picked them up from Trader Joe's before so we're gonna try their chunky guacamole made with Greek yogurt it doesn't look the best like when you think of guacamole you kind of want to see like a really nice green color but obviously with the Greek yogurt in there 
It looks a little off, but hopefully it tastes delicious. And then, like I said, one of the Pico de Gallo also haven't tried it from Trader Joe's. So we went ahead and picked theirs up to give a try. That's gonna go with dinner one night. Another lunch option for me, I picked up their hearty minestrone soup. I have had this before, it's super delicious. It's got fresh vegetables, cannellini beans, rice and quinoa orzo pasta, and then a vegetable broth and kale, really yummy. Okay, I picked up the burrata. I don't have a plan for it just yet, but I forgot to look at the date too, April 16th. So we are gonna have to use this. I'll add it on to something next week though, um, or just, I don't know, maybe I'll have it with lunch one day, who knows, but I love burrata. Just something to, sorry, I've got a lot of distractions. All the kids, I mean, all the kids are home and Mark's home, so, you know, all the kids are home. And, <laughs> and the big kid. <laughs> so I'm, I'm being a little distracted. Normally I do this during the day when it's nice and quiet. Um, but I went ahead and got some shrimp just to have in the freezer. If you guys watched my last video, my fridge and freezer and pantry tour, um, we're really like just stocking up. So I picked up things that I know I can easily incorporate into meals. If there's just a night where I'm like, oh, I don't wanna like make, make something, shrimp is something easy. I can make some rice also and we're good to go. So went ahead and got a bag of the cooked shrimp, large, peeled and deveined tail off to throw in the freezer. I don't have it on the meal plan for this week, but next week I'm, I wanna do some kind of like Indian dish. So either butter chicken or tikka masala or something like that. I got some naan also you guys will, will see, but this is what got me. So right next to the Trader Joe's that I go to in San Antonio, there's a Tarka Kitchen, I believe is what it's called. And every time I go to Trader Joe's, I can smell it. Like you just smell the garlic wafting out of the place. It smells fantastic. Mark and I actually ate there for lunch today. Finally, I get to check that off my like want to eat up list. Um, and it was really, really good. Very spicy, even though I said mild, very, very spicy, but the flavor is really good. Um, so now I'm like really wanting some more Indian food. So we're going to have something next week. And I went ahead and picked up these mini chicken tikka samosas. Um, at this restaurant, they had some vegetable samosas. They were delicious. So I'm excited to have something like Indian themed next week. The kids really like soup dumplings and we had some in the freezer, but we made them all. So I went ahead and picked up some more just to throw in there for like a random lunch one day. Maybe I got the chicken and the pork and ginger and they're just little filled dumplings. There's only six in here. So like I said, just a little lunch option for the kids all right so with that asparagus mark picked up two other things for dinner tomorrow um, one of those is steak so rose and myself are not big steak eaters so that's why i said we're gonna figure out something different for us for dinner he did go ahead and pick up three of the beef new york strip steaks one for each of them and then he also got this so that i already forgot how to say it but the cheese and pepper thing also with spaghetti so this is very much like the little pasta frozen pasta packages that i pick up but i think it'll go great with the asparagus and the steak for them for dinner tomorrow so it's spaghetti pasta and a rich creamy sauce with pecorini no pecoro oh my gosh pecorino romano cheese and black pepper i mean if i butchered that it is what it is i i tried here's the naan that i picked up so i got like the regular tandoori naan and then I also got their garlic naan as well. And there's four pieces in each of these, so that'll definitely fill our tummies when we have, like I said, either butter chicken or tikka masala. Those are kind of the two flavors that we like the most. I just didn't see anything like that. I know I can make my own, but the jar is just easier. So I just need a jar of that sauce. We've got our samosas, we've got our naan. I have plenty of rice on hand. I can make some rice. And normally I make like broccoli, like um, roasted or steamed broccoli to go with that. Oh, I can. I can already taste that dinner. All right, this is something else that I pick up pretty much every time I go. These are in the frozen section, so I just throw it in the freezer. It's great when you're having any kind of soup for dinner, and it's the mini French baguettes, and they're like, I mean, they're mini. They're like that long, and that's it, and there's six in here, so that's great for our family. This was something new I picked up, and I picked this up with rose and pearl in mind. They really like pickles and fried pickles and all the things. And this is perfectly pickled puffs. So it's mini uncured beef frank. So it's a little beef hot dog. 
coated in a dill pickle flavored batter and breading. So it's like a corn dog, but with a pickle flavor. So I hopefully they'll enjoy that, but I know they'll enjoy trying it at least. And then I picked this up last time and they really enjoyed them. So I got them again. It's 12 mini mint ice cream mouthfuls. So it's mint chip ice cream between chocolate wafers. So it's like an Oreo, but like a frozen Oreo. So and, the, and when it says mini, they are like mini, like the size of an Oreo. So um, that will go by real quick. Pancake bread is Bryce's favorite. So every time I go, I got to pick that up. He's probably going to, as soon as I start putting things up, he's going to be like, can I have a piece? So got the pancake bread for him. Then we'll go back here. I got a couple different drinks going on, two different wines. Um, this French Market Sparkling Lemonade, I have a, like a tea a sweet tea liquor and on the bottle it suggests serving it with some lemonade and I wanted to try it that way so I got the lemonade to try with that make myself a little drink tonight and then I picked up two bottles of wine um, Moscato Diosti is Mark and I's like favorite flavor we really like the sweet wines, so I picked up one of those and then I saw this one and I think I might save this for my mom for Mother's Day it's Sarah B sweet white wine and it's a Moscato so not as sweet as a Diosti but Hopefully it'll still be good, but my parents have bees, so it's kind of just a thing. If I see something with a bee and it's like a drink or food or something, then I'll pick it up for them because they're definitely over the gifts. I can't really make them or give them a, t a ton of gifts anymore. They're just like, give us a card and we're good to go. So a card and a bottle of wine is what she's getting <laughs> for Mother's Day this year. All right, here's the ravioli that I picked up that we're gonna have with our dinner tonight. Just the four cheese ravioli. I think the kids will enjoy this the most. Trader Joe's has a ton, like lots of different options of ravioli. They have a lobster one, they have a spinach one, they have like a corn and burrata one. I think they have another type of burrata one too, maybe tomatoes, tomato and burrata or something, but Definitely plenty of options just with, with the four cheese since I'm adding that zucchini and sausage. All right, this is something else I picked up just to throw in the freezer so we have it on hand. I love bratwurst, pretty much any kind of German meal. I love it so much. So went ahead and got the uncured Bavarian bratwurst, two packages since we are a family of five. There's only four in here. So two packages for a random like lunch or dinner one night. Then picked up some more sweet and spicy pecans. This is Mark's jam. He absolutely loves these. So had to get those for him. All right, one of the salads that I'm making to go with dinner next week, I'm making like a like a ramen salad and it has some, or it needs some pine nuts. So I went ahead and got them from Trader Joe's. Sometimes I have a hard time finding them at Walmart or HEB. So the second, this was like on my normal grocery list. So the second I saw them at Trader Joe's, I was like, yep. I feel like nuts are so expensive. Like. I think these were $10, $9.99. I mean, I am, I'm popping up the prices if you guys missed that, but $9.99, kind of crazy. All right, this fun little mix I got for the kids just to snack on. I'll probably try a little bit too, but it is their Springle Jangle. So what is it called at Christmas time? Jingle? jingle? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right, Jingle Jangle. Um, so this is their Springle, a cheerful mix of fan favorite candy treats. And you can see like all the spring colors. So it basically has the yogurt covered pretzels. It has the mini peanut butter cups. I know it has some like dark chocolate in here. The little like copycat M&Ms. These, oh gosh, I know it tells me on the back, hold on. Oh yeah, right here, butter toffee peanuts. I wanna try that. Broken pieces of dark chocolate JoJo's cookie bark. Um, spring candy gems, those are like the M&Ms. Uh, oh, it's got the milk chocolate peanut butter cups and the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And then these little non pareils with spring colored sprinkles. So I know the kids will enjoy snacking on that. All right, these are, well, this is something I pick up every time. This is just my little favorite thing from Trader Joe's. If I could only go into the store and buy one thing, this is what I'm getting. Normally, I have my kids, my family in mind, but nope, when it comes to Trader Joe's, me. <laughs> this is all for me. So it's the gnocchi with the gargonzola cheese. I love it so much. Like it's so good. Uh, Mark is not a huge fan of gnocchi. He thinks it tastes weird. So like the texture, but I love it. So I do pick that up. That'll be a lunch for me in the freezer. And then the last time I got this one to try and I really enjoyed it too. I definitely like the gnocchi one better, but this one's good too. It's like these little bow, bow basket 
pasta noodles um, with a pink sauce and it's just really really good it's filled with cheese and it tastes good so those are just two things I throw in the freezer and make for lunch and sometimes Pearl will have um, that with me as well all right I have hot dogs on my list I'm gonna get those from Sam's Club um, but I did go ahead and pick up the buns from Trader Joe's because I, I have a hard time finding the top slice and those are my favorite one it's just easier when you're doing all the condiments on the top easier for the kids sometimes the side ones just break open these ones are pretty thick on the bottom so i went ahead and grabbed these i don't think i've ever tried trader joe's hot dog buns but these ones look really good they feel fresh i will throw these in the freezer though um, until i know that we're going to have the hot dogs or anything like that for dinner and then last but not least or lunch last but not least this is the pizza crust that i got so Normally I get like the round pizza crust from somewhere when we're doing our own pizza night. I've used non bread before for pizza crust and I've tried the, like the homemade dough in the refrigerated section um, at Trader Joe's, but I've never tried this one before. It just looked really good. And I feel like that's plenty for the five of us. There's two in here and look how long they are. So this is what we're gonna have. Uh, maybe, oh no, not tomorrow. Cause we already have plans. So. Who knows when, but this will go in the freezer too for when we do like homemade pizzas for dinner or we could do it for lunch as a lunch option too. But light chewy crust with a great flavor and texture. Okay, so that is grocery haul number one for this week. What I picked up from Trader Joe's. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, please, please don't forget to go over to Brittany's video, give her some love, tell her I sent you, subscribe to her channel. I know you guys will enjoy her, especially if you've been with me for a little bit and you like my videos. With that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. The next video you see is going to be an HEB haul and it is quite a big one. Like I said, we got all of our grocery shopping done this weekend, so I've already filmed all three of them, just separating them for you guys. But I hope to see you guys in that video. Bye.